2024 gave us a lot of reason to think that web development is dead and there's no more reason to learn web development. But I'm going to disagree with this. This is what we're going to talk about in today's episode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Weekly Code Quickies with me, your host, Noble PM. Today we're going to talk about 2025, the year that is ahead of us. And let's see how this is going to influence us as web developers. And should you even learn web development in 2025? Of course, we're going to talk about artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, ML, progressive web applications, voice search optimization, low code, no code development, blockchain technology, cyber securities, augmented reality and virtual reality, AR and VR, the internet of things and at the end of all my personal thoughts. So let's get started with AI and machine learning. The thought that is lurking on all of our minds, will AI replace us? So after working with AI over two years almost, I can say that it enhanced me and it cannot replace me as a web developer. I do believe that all of the web developers should be the same opinion. So artificial intelligence, or let's just talk about personalized experiences. AI powered algorithms will analyze user behavior to deliver tailored content and recommendations, enhancing user engagement. So far from replacing us. Now, intelligence interfaces, for example, AI driven chatbots and virtual assistants will revolutionize user interactions, making websites more intuitive and responsive. And on the automation process, automated development, AI tools will streamline development processes, augmenting repetitive tasks and accelerating development cycles. And that's exactly what I have been experiencing all these couple of years, where my powers and knowledge of web development were enhanced by AI and I didn't feel threatened at all. That's going to replace me. So let's move to our next one, which is going to be progressive web apps. And first let's talk about enhanced user experience. A progressive web app, PWA, offers a native app-like experience on the web, delivering fast load times, offline functionality, and push notifications. And I would say that this is a domain where you should definitely take a look at. Also seam seamless cross platform development. Developers can create a single code base that works across various devices and platforms, reducing development time and effort because the hustle of getting something to work in multiple programming languages is just immense. So let's go on to the next one, which will be voice search optimization. And first let's talk about voice first interfaces as voice assistants like Siri and Google assistant become more prevalent websites will need to be optimized for a voice search to compute a growing user base. And let's be honest from starting from do not text when drive, but voice to text as Apple has it, it's a pretty big enhancement. Also working with chat GPT, I can tell it what I want instead of typing it. And we all know that we're faster talking than typing. Now let's move a bit to natural language processing. The understanding that natural language queries will be crucial for delivering relevant information and seamless user experience is essential. I would suggest taking a deeper look into the neural language processing domain. So let's move on here to the next one, which will be low code, no code development. This was also thought to be the death of developers, but actually someone has to write the code that is going to write no code. So let's talk about democratizing development. These tools empower non-technical user users to create web applications without ex extensive coding knowledge. Now this will expand the pool of potential developers because at the end of the day, if you see something working and you're limited by only that application that created your no code, maybe you want to get into web development then and create something even better and overcome those limitations. So not only that you need the coders in order to create the application as to create the non-code application, that could lead to those who use those applications or create those applications by using non-code applications to wish to become programmers and to enhance the applications by adding to them. Or maybe I'm just a glass half full kind of person. Let's move to rapid prototyping. This is really one of the biggest pluses for low code, no code, because those platforms accelerate development cycles, allowing for faster experimentation and iterations. 
You could also sit down and take a piece of paper and just write out your, your idea. It's basically the same thing. But if the idea looks good, wouldn't you just get the piece of paper and stick it into your laptop and not start from the beginning? So it's basically where from concept to prototype to product, a rapid prototyping is helpful. So let's move to the next one, which would be blockchain technologies. Whether you believe or not, this is not religion. I, I'm, I'm not telling you to believe in the blockchain. I and mean, also, this is not a topic about Bitcoin or some kind of cryptocurrencies. I'm not trying to sell here something. But blockchain technologies, and let's first of all talk about secure and transparent transition. Blockchain offers a secured and transparent way to handle transitions and data, ensuring trust and reliability at the end of the day. So that's a huge plus for blockchain. Now, of course, if we talk about blockchain, we need to talk about decentralized application or dApps because blockchain powered dApps, decentralized applications, will enable innovative web applications which decentralize control and ownership. So let's move on now to cybersecurity. This is a really, really big one. First, let's talk about robust security measures. As cyber threats evolve, developers will need to prioritize security best practices to protect user data and prevent breaches. Just think about it. At the last Apple event, they overemphasize security. Come to us because your data, so come to Apple because your data will be secured. So security will play a immense role in the future. Let's talk about continuous monitoring and updates, staying up to date with security patches and implementing protective security measures will be essential so this domain ladies and gentlemen is definitely one for the future now let's also talk about augmented reality and virtual reality because augmented and virtual reality will have a big impact of immersive user experiences they both will transform web interactions creating immersive and engaging experiences and this is really a new frontier then for web development will it come to fruition tomorrow i don't know but Developers will need to explore new frameworks and tools to build augmented reality and virtual reality embedded web applications. So let's, last but not least, talk about the Internet of Things. So connected devices the, is the main theme here. The increased number of Internet of Things devices will generate vast amount of data that can be integrated into web applications. This is why they're stacking up on those server centers. Real-time insights for web developers will play a crucial role in processing and visualizing the Internet of Things because that data is needed to provide valuable insight. So, ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, the future of web development is a dynamic and exciting landscape driven by technological advancement and evolving user expectations. By staying up to date with these trends and embracing emerging technologies, developers like you and I can create innovative and impactful web experiences. So I would say keep learning and keep doing what you love. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm Nobu BM. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.